What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. So in this video, I will be comparing Vapi AI versus Blend AI. Now, if you use both of these tools, you know that both of these tools are uh, basically tools and platforms for creating uh, voice AI agents. Basically, you can create voice AI agents that will call, you know, inbound or outbound, uh, whatever type of business you have. Now, I've tried both of these. Uh, now, obviously, you know, in terms of uh, showing the features and stuff like that, I will not do that in this video. I will just compare these two, um, you know, hand by hand, hand in hand, basically. So, um, so first is Vapi, right? So Vapi is designed with developers in mind. Vapi has a lot of different integrations. You can also use a lot of different like coding stuff within Vapi. So, uh, you know, if you're a developer, if you want to you know, use VAPI in different type of scenarios. VAPI is great for that. It also provides tools, you know, to integrate advanced voice functionalities into applications. It, you know, uh, has flexibility as well, you know, allowing for customizable voices, which is really great, and voice interactions. So again, really, really integrated in a lot of different things. Uh, again, VAPI is great for that. As you can see, you can integrate with more than 40 plus apps in a snap, which is great. Now, on the other hand, Blend AI is more so uh, tailored for enterprises, right? So if you're a, a big company, medium to, to, to large size business, even if you're like a smaller business, but you, want, you don't want to like mess around with coding uh, stuff and stuff like that, then uh, Blend AI offers a more uh, seamless way to integrate and automate phone calls, right? Using obviously AI agents and conversational AI. Now, Obviously, it also offers human-like voices, customizable voices, you know, conversation pathways, integrations with various, you know, uh, different like business tools and, and stuff like that. So, um, so that's, that's kind of the, the basic um, comparison of those two. Now, in terms of pricing, obviously, you know, in terms of pricing, VAPI, um, or actually, let's talk about the... Uh, the customization part, right? So VAPI integrates with 11 labs and you know, it also can enable users to upload custom voices with various accents, which is, which is great. It also enhances that realism, right? Because like you, you can get much better voices in VAPI and it's much more um, customizable, right? Which, which I already said kind of. So this feature is particularly beneficial for businesses serving diverse clientele. So if you have like Diverse clients, VAPI is great for that. If you're maybe an agency working with, you know, let's say service-based businesses and you're working with different type of service-based businesses, this could be really great. And to integrate this within, you know, a lot of different businesses as well with the coding and integration capabilities, VAPI is better. Now in Blend AI, um, Blend AI also leverages 11 Labs technology, but does not support custom voice uploads, which may limit personalization Again, VAPI does that. So um, also with integration, ease of use, obviously, you know, uh, as I said, VAPI is much, uh, much more complex. So you will need to have a really like a high learning curve on Blend. It's much easier. So, you know, just take that into consideration. Um, one thing that I have to note is VAPI is uh, available worldwide, right? Blend is only available in US. So if you want to uh, support international calling, make it suitable for, for all the businesses, use VAPI. If you want to use, um, you know, if you're working just with US-based businesses and you want to set up US-based, uh, you know, um, voice agents, then Blend AI is much better for that. So obviously, you know, in terms of performance and latency, VAPI did demonstrate when I was trying it, did demonstrate a quick uh, response time in, in like tests with average latency, I would say around one and a half to two seconds, um, usually, you know, so yeah, it's really, really, really efficient. Uh, blend is around the same, I would say, um, maybe a bit faster in some, uh, some scenarios. However, you know, that's kind of, you know, um, an overview, right, on those two. Now, what I got to say is both of these are great. Obviously, VAPI's uh, pricing model is, um, it operates on modular pricing, which means that, you know, it will cost you $0.05 per minute for basic calling and then additional services such as, you know, text-to-speech and other services, they may incur like additional charges. 
and those charges really depend what type of models you're using maybe if you're using like chat gpt you know if you're losing like chat gpt 3 uh, 3 then you will probably have like uh you know lower pricing for that but it's approximately 0 0.10 dollars per minute for any additional uh things you want to do so uh, blend ai um also uses uh it, it, it doesn't use the same model. It's very similar model to, to VAPI. Uh, basically, it's charging $0.09 per minute for outbound voice calls. And this is, again, a very straightforward approach, very simplified. So again, like if you're looking for something simplified, Blend is definitely there, right? Uh, obviously, VAPI's strength in flexibility is much uh, better. So again, if you're like working with a lot of businesses, if you know how to code, if you want to be flexible, integrate VAPI in a bunch of different areas. If you want to do international calls, VAPI AI is for you. If you want to, you know, just do very simplified calls, uh, very simplified setup, very simplified pricing only in US, right? Only in US. So just remember that then Blend AI is better for you. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, there's no not one tool here that is better than the other. I would say VAPI is better just because it has a lot of integrations, but I cannot say what's better for you, right? So you have to decide this on your for yourself. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this comparison video. We have a lot of different comparison videos on our channel. Uh, so yeah, definitely check it out and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.